I have got nuts the show with PRS Cargo. Nice. And I'm sitting here with buddy Matt Fissel for Shizzle My Nizzle. Hi. And I uh, got a few shows coming up, folks. Every Wednesday, you can catch me at the Strand Theater at the Marietta Square. Show starts at 7.30 p.m. I'm going to be there tonight, this Wednesday, and every other Wednesday for my friends. Yay. Um, any other night, it's pretty much hit or miss. I'm uh, Tuesday, sometimes Cat's Cafe. Thursday, I'm at Imperial Indicator or Sweetwater Barter and Grill in Duluth. And that show starts at 8.45 or at the Relapse Theater on Thursday at 9 p.m. <clears throat> Confirmed show, though. Laughing Skull Lounge. I will be there July 16th. Show starts at 8 p.m. $11 at the door. 11 bones, big dog. And now we're with the show. It's Pierre Escargo. My buddy Matt Fissel here is in a relationship here. We're going to talk about uh, things here. And I'm pretty much going to tell him what he doesn't know. Thank He's going to tell me. That's going to go wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's going to tell me all about the things that I may not know. Um, but... You're in a relationship. I am. Yes. And what's his name? Uh, it's John. <laughs> How is, is is are you are you like the top? Nah. Oh, not, uh, not at all. So you're like a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's, that, that, that's a lazy stroke. I, I call that the nine yeah. to five. You know, here I am. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. I've already done all my effort for the day. I don't want to do anything else. Right, right. No, but uh, is, it, is it really a he, though? No, nah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> her name's Katie. Um, I've known her since seventh grade, and we've been dating, like, just six months. Okay, to get, tomorrow. to get that loan to shoot your shot. It's... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just gonna, she's not gonna see this. <laughs> but no, so you've been dating six months. Has it been like the, a good six months? Yeah, it's been really nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan of it. <laughs> He's like, I like where this is going so far. Um, so, do you guys argue yet? Argue would be the wrong word. She tells me uh, that, that I'm wrong sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel bad, Pierre. <laughs> you feel real bad. Okay, she tells you that you're wrong, and what happens? Like, you're just like, oh. I mean, I, I realize I'm wrong half the time. <laughs> and the other half, you're just like... No, I tell her that I'm, I'm right. <laughs> and it doesn't go anywhere from there. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. Like, at this point, it's like, all right. I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. You know you're probably wrong. So basically, it's like we're driving mm -hmm. and we're getting on an on ramp, and I like switch lanes halfway through in front of a guy, and mm -hmm. she goes, "You just cut that guy off." And I say, "No, I know how much room I had. Mm -hmm. I'm driving. I, I didn't." She's like, "Well, that's how accidents start. Like, they start if I do it with him next to me. <laughs> he was behind me. Right. And then it just kind of devolves, and then she, you know, touches my radio, and then I get." mad and then she gets mad at me for that it, it doesn't go well and see yeah and i was gonna say it's times like this where you're like if i win i don't really win oh yeah it's like all right look i don't know for me this happens to me a lot um well i've been engaged been, well i just got engaged for a year i've been with the same woman for 10 years i'm i just yeah, you know black people we'll go together for like 10 years before we get married and then we'll get divorced after three months so i'm like really trying to play, do the numbers right i feel like you should pull that back a bit so you do like dating six years married four years and then divorce nah it makes it seem more even nah like I crank I pretty much smashed the first time we met so like I knew it was real there you go <laughs> like I have no game whatsoever yeah so like when she was like oh my god you're so hot and I was like she clearly knows what she's talking about <laughs> she has great taste in men she knows a good sense of humor like I'm a great pick, and she saw that. So, like, who am I to deny her the greatness that she wants in herself? You've got a high opinion. I've, I've met me. <laughs> I know how great I am. I'm probably, like, the most awesome person I know. Right. I don't know that many people. That's that's fair. You yeah. know, but, no, like, the fighting part, she'll be like, um, play with my hair. Like, every night she likes me to, like, stroke her hair, yeah. scratch her hair, you know, before she goes to bed, and she's just like, oh, you know, she's like a cat person. And uh, for 10 years, I've hated doing this. Of course. 
for 10 years. It's one thing if you want to do it, but. Right, she's well, okay, in my, her defense, I did do it a lot when we first started dating. You have to go impress them then. Right. Yeah, I bought my girlfriend stuff in the <laughs> beginning, and then I stopped. And then I stopped. Mm -hmm. Now I just give her penis. Like, <laughs> yeah. Boom, and that's free 99. All the cost is a little bit of time. But, um. A little bit. A little bit, I mean. Pfft. I mean, I'll say this too. I don't think it's a bad thing to come quickly. Yeah. That's like saying it takes you forever to eat your food. Yeah, if I eat all my food. in the food, but like just eat the goddamn Right, burger. just eat the, it's a hot pocket, bro. You don't need to <laughs> sit here, bro. Just, just a flavor palette. <laughs> like, I, you know, this has a nice crisp layer. You know, but nah. Um, Sometimes you just got stuff to do in the day. <laughs> uh, but no, she like plans my hair. Or like, I'll be laying down, she'll wake me up like, babe, can you play with my hair? Uh, and then, like, you know, the crazy comes out a little yeah. bit, and I'm like, she knows that I hate doing this. She knows that I was asleep. She knows I usually say no. So I know that she knows that she's ready to fight. She knows I'm not ready to fight right now. Yeah. So that means I'm ready to do what she says. I mean, you were just woken up. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I was asleep. Did I want to wake up and scratch your head so you can just do what I was doing? Of course. Bring that ass here. Yes. I just actually just scratch so much better than not being awake right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm scratching it, I wait until she's like really asleep and I just tug on it really hard. And I'm like, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? <laughs> Did I wake you, baby? Go back to sleep. But no, um, next question. That was good. That was good. That was good. Uh, have you met her parents? Yeah, I, uh, I met... I met both of them. Her mom and I get along great, and I, I really like her dad. Like, a lot more than I probably should, because I've gone to her house to like hang out with her dad. Mm. And that's a weird thing to like. Like without her being her there? Shit. Yeah. Because like she got home and was like, why are you here? And I was like, your dad. He's a cool guy. He's awesome. <laughs> oh man. So you said her mom really likes you though? Her entire family really likes me somehow, because basically for like 10 years, I really liked her, mm -hmm. and then she was there. Um, and my entire family, my mom wants her as a daughter more than I like dating her, which is weird. <laughs> and then her family has just been kind of like, whenever she has a boyfriend, it's just like, hey, so like, when are you gonna just like marry Matt already? Oh shit, so you are that guy that mm -hmm. the parents are saying you should date? Oh yeah. Like, cause I've seen that in movies, that, like every time it's like, hey mom, this is my boyfriend Chet. It's always, or like Connor mm -hmm. or some shit like that. And you know, it's like, when are you gonna call Matt? You know, or, Brian is such a good boy. And he's so sweet. Right, like, look at his hair. I mean, he's so super. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> See, I wish I had white people here so I That's could do so that. Nice. I just realized I started this video without my hat on. So my whole... So everyone can tell that you're old. Yeah, you know, they say black don't crack, but the age shows you just gotta know where it's at. <laughs> you know, it just shows in the back or underneath a baseball cap. I should be a rapper. Yeah, I'm noticing that. <laughs> you know, my mom always told me keep your head up, so that way people that are short can't see your fucked up hairline. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my my dad told me that, but it was more for like you'll see more imposing. <laughs> nah, my mom knew I was headed for a, a terminal end at a young age. She asked me one day how old I was, which is weird because she gave birth to me. <laughs> and she was like, how old are you? And I was like, at the time I was like, I think I'm like 27 or something. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> and she was like, you know, that's about the age, right? And I said, for what? And she was like, she said, every man in our family is bald headed when you think about it. And I literally just started having flashbacks, started thinking about it. Every one of my uncles, grandpa, they're all bald headed. They all just have the shaved heads, like clean. And I was like, why did you do this to me? You knew I was gonna turn out this way. See, I've, I've really lucked out with that in my family because like they all go gray really early, mm -hmm. but they keep most of their hair. See, I feel like if you were to go gray, it'd be like graceful. And yeah, then, like, people that's what just... I'm going for. Like the Reed Richards or something. Right, I'm just about to say some fantastic yeah. for just to, like, you, they're like, you know, you, oh man, you don't look that old and you'll do one of those hair flip things that you know white people with hair do and you know, do one of these and then show them the gray and they'll just be like, like ooh. And then you'd be like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Reporting live from your panties. It's Matt Fizzle. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Splash. Um, 
You know, but you and her parents, so I said, uh, I'm, like I said, I've been engaged, I am engaged, but the same with the people. Like, you guys don't have any kids? And I was like, nope, because I use condoms. Pulling and praying doesn't work, because God doesn't answer those prayers. <laughs> and they're like, what are you talking about? I said, every one of us got here from our parents pulling out. They weren't using condoms and condom broke. I bet you that happened. I bet they were. You know what? We're no, gonna make it. That was my little sister. I was planned. <laughs> my sister was not. Damn, you were planned? Mm -hmm. Are you the favorite? Nah, not at all. My sister is. <laughs> she's the first girl in seven generations. So like my great grandmother. I don't think she's a favorite. I just think she's like no, she's 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 the favorite. Okay. My my great grandmother found out she was gonna be born, stayed alive, met her, and died a week later. She might be blessed. I don't think she's the <laughs> fake. I think, okay, I think, what's the word? She's like the number one seed. She's like okay. doing the best right now. She's like project, she's like yeah. the golden child. So I'm the underdog is what you're saying. I'm saying like they picked you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're like, we want you. Okay, it's like, if Kobe Bryant was on the Lakers already, you're Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. And then they got like a first round rare pick, like some 16 year old phenom. Yeah. Everybody will be hyped about the phenom. You know what I'm saying? But I think what it really is, is and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a hockey one. Um, <laughs> my older brother is Wayne Gretzky, essentially. Mm -hmm. And my parents were like, you know, Wayne Gretzky turned out really well. Mm -hmm. You know who we should get? His son. And then they get his son. They're like, oh, his son can't play hockey for shit. <laughs> We'll have him read a lot of books. Maybe that'll turn out well. <laughs> Maybe we'll just make this one smart. He'll be yeah. Wayne Gretzky's lawyer. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll just prop him up and just like, yeah, you know who's pretty cool? My brother. <laughs> the oh, he's hype man. Right, he'll be the split star to the Buster <laughs> Rhymes. Um, but I said this, like, I don't have any kids. I don't plan on having any kids. And if I did, I didn't want to have a daughter. Yeah. And since I said that, I'm going to have one. Of course. I think I'm going to have the twins. Same way. Twin girls. At the same time. You, life's going to happen. And I was like, you know, if I do have a daughter, I'm not ever going to be okay with meeting her boyfriend. No. Because I'm going to know that he's had his hands inside of my daughter and I'm going to have to shake one of them. Mm-hmm. Or like, oh, oh man, that that's so much worse. It, it, it's so much worse. He's like, hey, I'm Matt, and I'm like, Ugh. all right, bud. Right, I'm gonna give you. I ain't even gonna pound it, bro. I'm just giving the elbow, just, <laughs> mm, mm, nasty motherfucker. And I was like, bro, if I did have a daughter, though, I'm I'm gonna make her play basketball, volleyball, or softball, so that way when she just brings girls over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, cause like, I, I end up being like the, not like overprotective older brother, but just like, I, know I have to doing. deal with my little sister. So she plays softball, and I'm really just hoping one of these days she turns out gay. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's so much easier. I really, really want it. Mm -hmm. And like, my hopes are dying, because like, every time I talk to her, she's like, ooh, One Direction. So I'm really hoping she's just like, you know what? Megan Fox is pretty hot. <laughs> like, have you heard about uh, Kate Upton? Mm. Mm. There we go. Wow. Alexander Daddario, really Whoa, hot. Oh, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at... Halle Berry, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, it's better that she says, you know, One Direction than like, you know, Migos. Who? <laughs> the Migos, like, Walker, okay, stop. Oh, oh stop. I've heard the song. Right, <laughs> you know that bad bougie. Could be no deal with that I'm, I'm just gonna point out, I'm really pale. Mm-hmm, 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 okay. Uh, okay, that was a bad I listen to progressive rock music from the 1970s. I believe you. Yes. <laughs> you are. That's the Backstreet Boys. Um, That's so fucking great. It, 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 I, I suppose so. Uh, yeah, you said you guys met in seventh grade. Yeah, I met her dad when I was her date to the eighth grade format. And uh, so you met him in eighth grade, and he thinks you're not smashing. Uh. <laughs> yes. Somehow, my mom thought we were making out in my basement for like 10 years. Never happened once. As soon as she I started- like, hopes. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I mean, he can't just be down there watching TV with a girl. Like, that's absurd. 
which I've done before. Like, I invited a girl over to watch the Star Wars movies with me because she had never seen them before. And you pay attention yeah. to Star Wars. And I was like, how have you never seen, St like, we're gonna watch it in my basement at midnight, let's go. And then she got there and we watched all of them. She was like, just kind of looking at me and I was like, pay attention to the fucking movie. Luke Skywalker's about to blow up the goddamn Death Star. Yeah. And then I, I tried to show her the Lord of the Rings and that's when it became clear to her that nothing was gonna happen. And she got mad at me and left. When you, I, that happens to me a lot. Um, well, not that hanging out. I, I never actually hung out with women. I was like, what's the word? I had paralyzing fear of being uh, rejected mm -hmm. by women to me the too. point where I wouldn't even ask. I would just like to live in this fantasy that there's a <laughs> possible chance that you could like me mm -hmm. more so than a friend. I got friend zoned so many times and I didn't even know what it was until I heard the term friend zone and when I found out what it was, it pissed me off. Oh yeah. Cause like, I was, oh, that happens to everybody? What do you do? And people are like, oh, once you're there, you're there. It's like, yeah. once you're neck deep in quicksand, what do you do? You die. You're like, <laughs> say your prayers. <laughs> I don't know. You really just shove your head into the quicksand to make it just go by faster. Right, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no, I, I don't know why you're fighting it right now. Just let it fucking go, bro. Uh, See, I, I just hung out with girls to hang out with them because I was so cool. I was just like, you know, you know what sounds fun? Let's <laughs> go to man laugh. Let, let's go to Sephora because that's not my hell. You would. Oh I've never been there, but I've been to like a makeup place. I've been to Ulta. Only because my fiance worked Dude, there. Yeah, okay, that's that's you can get better. condoms there for cheap as fuck. What the hell? Un momento. I'm recording, baby. What's up, though? He is. Hi, guys. Nope, but what's up? Yep. Okay, let me buy. Another thing. My uh, fiance has a sixth sense of knowing when it's not the right time to call. Yeah. And she calls anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened. Have you ever made it through one of these without one? Without her calling yeah. or anything? Yes, one. Nice. And well, she called right before I actually hit record. <laughs> but no, she laughs at it, no, just now though. Uh, like I said, I don't even get mad at the stuff anymore. Like yeah. she, I told her before she left, I was going to be recording right, right as she left. And she was like, okay, hey. then that means right at that time I'm calling. I'm gonna call you. And right I'm assuming now. it wasn't the most important thing. I'm on my way home. Yeah. You know that when she got home. Mm -hmm. If she were, I, if I were to say you could have texted that to me, that's a door opening for her to argue. Yeah. Or to fight. So you just have to go with it. Bitch, I wanted to talk to you. That's how she talks to me. She doesn't. She says bitch a whole lot. I think that translates into something else though. Uh, but no, like I said, I used to have a fear of women. Like, uh, you don't appear like you have a crippling fear of talking to women about things. About things that aren't like, hey, that, that's about all I've got. Do you, me, you do the... <laughs> yeah, I do hey. finger guns more than I should. I, I recently picked this up. Not happy about that. I think I've been booming people for a long time, too. Just <laughs> boom. <laughs> like, uh, I would hit on a chick, you know, my fiance. Like, she came up. We met because uh, I was actually at my apartment. My buddy brought her through. They were, like, just friends. Yeah. And I just, like stared at her as if she was a plate of food and like she was just like hey and i was like hey it literally came out like that i just like rolled my eyes and she laughed and walked away and i was like fuck so i did so well <laughs> fucking killing it <laughs> boom finger guns but no she came back by a couple times i was like you smoke she was like yeah and i was like word you want to hit my blunt she was like yeah and i was like cool you hit my blunt we go together <laughs> and she hit it and I was kidding, and then like we started kicking, and then I smashed. I'm not playing. I mean, I'm playing. That it didn't happen like that. That was like the second or third time. I, I had to work up the courage to pull my dick out. You don't just whip your dick out. Yeah. I mean, some people say you got to put it on the table. I've never been able. He's one of those people. <laughs> He's like slam your dick on the table. See, he. Are, see, he <laughs> flat, just sound and all. She's like, oh my god. Mystery man, you're so mysterious. What's the mystery behind you? And he just... <laughs> mystery revealed. 
<laughs> With my luck, I'd be standing too far back and it would just be. <laughs> You just hit the tip on his table like, ah! Oh, please. <laughs> Hell no. How you drop the ball on pulling the dick out? Just, I, you know, you know, this isn't a part of what I wrote down, but I said I love doing comedy because it's a, one of the very few places you can openly talk about penis and not be, appear to be gay. Yeah. Like, if this camera wasn't on and we were just sitting here talking about penis, <laughs> You know how weird that would be? Yeah, three guys in a room just talking about our dicks. Right, somebody was like, whoa, that's gay. It's not, it's comedy. Yeah, we got a camera. Is it on? <laughs> Could be. Could be. You know, they say it's not uh, prostitution as long as there's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. As long as someone's recording, you can't be busted for it's porn at that point. So they, so that's why I say, whenever you get a prostitute, please like, hey, what up, bro? <laughs> yeah, 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 so the hub. <laughs> why are you calling prostitutes, bro? No, I met the police officer. Oh. When the police officer came up, like, what are you doing? Was that prostitute? She gets safe. Like, nah, it's poor. <laughs> She's not a prostitute. You know, somebody told She's me that. trying to day. be an actress. He was an older dude. He said, you know what they used to call prostitutes back in the day? Pros. Because prostitute, pros, I was like, oh. here's a wild with the pro the other night, nigga. She was like straight neck and chin, and bro, I was like, a pro what? <laughs> he was like, a pro ho, nigga. A pro? Oh, oh fuck would you think it would be? She's a pro fisher. I don't know. She got a long Ain't cast. No I don't people say. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling. Um, Alright, so when you were robbed of your virginity. Yeah. Did it hurt? Man, it was honestly, it was really disappointing. For her or you? No, for me. Me too. Because I ran out of time. Ah! Like you didn't finish or you finished too quick? I didn't finish. Then that didn't count. Oh, see, when he said he ran out of time, I thought he meant the hour was up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're out. Your time is up. I don't have enough time to tell you about my first time. <laughs> no, literally, it was just, uh, everything with this girl just did not work out well. Mm -hmm. This is this is crazy, girl. Oh, I, yes. I've been with two women in my life because I'm a baller. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was literally like we would have sex in like her dad's apartment, and there was one time we were doing it, and I just heard like little kids got home from school, and I just heard laughter on the other side of the wall, and I looked at her and I was like, I'm going home. I I can't do this. <laughs> like, that, that's when I realized that is my least favorite fucking sound in the world when I'm in the middle of having sex. Children laughing? Yeah, just like, you know, I, I don't need that association. Uh, I can honestly say I've never heard that. Oh my God. That's what I, I have to look forward to when I have kids. I'm not gonna lie. If I ain't had no coochie and God knows how long and I hear some kids laughing, I don't care. Well, yeah. That's like someone's like, I hate having kids around and laughing while I'm trying to enjoy my meal at a restaurant. If I ain't had shit to eat, I don't give a fuck who's there. Yeah. I'm eating this food. But you can walk you eaten in the past week, or no, that's I don't care. Not good. I'll be sitting there struggling. Someone's like, get off my mama. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm here. <laughs> get out of my bitch. Your ass out of here. I'm still stroking. Um, I am busy. <laughs> Uh, but no, tell me about Crazy Girl though. Uh, like, I, that is one of the questions I have. Like, I have a crazy story too. It's like half the reason I'm here, isn't it? A third, maybe? Alright. Another third would be that. The other third would be the delivery of said thing. Okay. But, um, I have a few crazy. Damn, which one? Okay, I can talk about the black girl. The time I dated a black chick. Uh, name was Erica. Whatever. <laughs> um,. They never tell you they're crazy. Oh, of no. course not. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're not crazy. I think what it is, it's like how men are like, we are all, we all know we're assholes. Yeah. We all know we're dumb. Mm -hmm. I don't think women know how dumb and how yeah. much of an asshole. Like, I'm are. really impressed and happy with myself if I make a good decision in a day. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what? I made my bed and it wasn't wrong. Right. It's like it's the most simple task I can do in the day, but mm -hmm. I did it. Fucking nailed it. Um, Cell five. It's great. But she uh, was a vegetarian. Oh. Uh, wasn't an issue when we first started dating. You know, I, I knew she was, and I was yeah. like, so does it bother you that I eat ribs and like bacon? 
because I love meat and chicken and steak. And she was like, I don't care. I said, because it's going to be on my breath and hot wings. She's like, that's chicken. I said, I'm aware. I just want to let you know I love chicken. It's, I, it's different than chicken. <laughs> right. And she was like, no, that's fine. I did eat more fruit and vegetables and stuff. I snacked on them a lot more. I still do now. Yeah. But I remember um, she uh, broke up with me on my birthday uh, because I had went to Buffalo Wild Wings and had like 30 or 40 wings. And when I went to her place, she was like, what did you do? I was like, I have some wings and like four Dos Equis. I was lit. I'm a lightweight. And yeah. she was like, I can't do this. And I was like, do what? And she was like, you literally, your skin is just like permeating buffalo sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I mean, just, buffalo sauce isn't a problem. That's vegetarian. It is. She can eat that. <laughs> um, but nah, she was like, yeah, it's bad for my health. And I was like, so you're saying being with somebody who eats 30 or 40 chicken wings is causing you physical harm. <laughs> she was like, I mean, it's just not good. You don't know what you're putting in your body, blah, blah, blah. I'm I was well like, aware of what I'm putting. I'm putting 30 <laughs> or 40 fucking wings in my body. And you know, that happened. She bought me flowers the next day. I have never had anyone buy me flowers for anything, let alone dumping me. It's a weird thing. That, that's like a power move though. It was because it worked, because I'm not gonna lie. I felt so nice. I was yeah. like, oh my God, no one's ever <laughs> I was like, is this what it feels like when we do it? Oh my God. Come here, come here. <laughs> and I made a mistake because she broke with me again November 8th when Trump got elected. Because we got back together after she broke up with me on my birthday. And then four days later, November 8th, Trump got elected and she broke up with me again. She said it wasn't because Trump was got elected. Your fault? I think it was Trump's. Just she said it wasn't, but I think it was. Because I, I, I told her I wasn't going to stop eating hot wings. And she was like, okay, I get it. Yeah, no, that that clearly makes sense. <laughs> so, Trump did it to me. Yeah. You know? And he's fucking everybody over. I mean, I guess, but in hindsight, I'm not with her anymore. Which is good. Which is good. And I, I never want to be dating a vegetarian. Hella wings. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about your crazy? Oh, God. Uh... On the off chance this ends up getting back, we'll call her Rebecca with a K. <laughs> <laughs> One of those people. Wow. Um, so the thing that really pisses me off is, in hindsight, I didn't think she was crazy, mm -hmm. but she had this side of her head shaved. Yeah. Yeah. She was in the middle of losing her faith in God. Oh. And like after we ended up breaking up, my buddy, who was like best friends with or was dating her best friend was like man i'm really surprised you dated her she was crazy and i was like motherfucker why didn't you tell me that i think someone did okay if you were about to eat something mm -hmm. and you're like oh my god i'm about to fuck this plate up someone was like bro don't eat that it's gonna fuck your stomach up would you yep. listen no nah, so if like, you were man, <laughs> fuck you i'll, I'll do what i want <laughs> right I'm a, I'm a real one but like at that point <laughs> that's my fault mm -hmm. this is his fault <laughs> so we were dating, and I had never had a girlfriend before. I had like one in like seventh grade over MySpace. Damn. Yeah, we broke up on Facebook though, it matured. Picture comments. Remember those? <laughs> Dude, my MySpace name was the chosen one. Oh! And the, uh, the Hardy Brothers from uh, WWE is the background. Oh. And I was, I was cool. It was really white. Damn. Yeah. The chosen one. Yeah. I was a narcissist. You should keep that name. I should. I'm going to call you that from now on. Please don't. I'm never calling you Swell Fellow Fizzle anymore. It's such a good name, though. <laughs> no, not when you write it down or type it out, Swell Fellow. Or fellow. say it. It's no, the chosen one. All right. God, that's so good. I, I can picture you as like a WWE wrestler now. <laughs> and whenever you walk into work, it's just like, the chosen one. <laughs> Who are you working with today? The chosen one. <laughs> the one that was chosen. But yeah, you're, you're crazy. Yeah, so um, essentially she had a lot of daddy issues. <laughs> her parents got divorced and then her mom 
turned out to be a lesbian. And then... Okay. You said she... We'll get losing her faith in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parents are getting divorced. No, they were already divorced. They are already divorced. Yeah. What else? Daddy issues. Daddy issues. Mom was a lesbian. Mom was a lesbian. Jesus. Yeah. This so is, like, oh yeah, the shaved head. Yeah, it's a checklist of things you shouldn't go with. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, this is a girl. <laughs> this is a whole human. Yeah, and like that's more than I had ever dealt with. But like, literally within like, I think the first week I got the third base, which like, I was happy about. That was real fun for me. Wow. Yeah. Like, then, wait, you got a third base, or did she take you to third base? I don't know. She she took me everywhere. I was oh. just a passenger. <laughs> See, that's what happens. We're always taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. I mean, even now that that's what happens. It's just like, <laughs> if you're tired and you don't want to have sex, but she does, you're having sex. You are having, it's just going to be tired sex you're yeah. having. Yeah, and like, you're going to go to sleep immediately <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like mystery comment. <laughs> I've never been too tired to have sex. I've always just I mean, like, even if I am tired, you're getting on top. Oh, Dude. yeah, that, that's what ends up happening. Um, I'll sleep in you, I don't give a shit. I'll fall asleep in you. <laughs> you better know when I'm shaking though. <laughs> That's when you die. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> we need a sound effect whenever Mystery Man needs a comment. Like we need to give you a bell or something. Just like a ding and just it's like an interjection or just like comment. <laughs> Message. Yeah, message. <laughs> and then everybody just shuts down. This is a good sign. <laughs> um, but no, nah, I'm still listening. Yeah, okay, you're, you're so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Yeah, we, um, we dated for like two months, and then she broke up with me because we were too different. <laughs> and I had just woken up from like finally falling asleep after having strep throat. So like, it was the greatest day of my life, and I woke up and it was just like, we need to talk. And I was like, now oh, fuck this. Mm. So she broke up with me over a text message, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went back to sleep. <laughs> my mom still thinks I was broken up for like three weeks, just like really like crying or something. I, I just went to sleep. I was just getting over my strep throat. Yeah, and then two months later, we became fuck buddies, mm -hmm. which like I called us friends with benefits and she called us fuck buddies. Oh, I thought we were still talking about your mom, my bad. No, uh, no, <laughs> no, uh, no, that's no. incest. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> But yeah, so this is when I realized that she was like really fucking crazy mm -hmm. because um, actually in retrospect, there was a, she was afraid of a penis. <laughs> of the penis? Yeah, or like yours. of just like in or general. Or penis. <laughs> <laughs> was like, she she literally was just like, I really want to blow you, and I was like, mm. awesome. So I took my pants off and I was like, this Love is me. a great day for me. And then she like almost, and she was like pulling back and I was like, what, what's wrong? And she was like, I, I don't know. And I was like, all, all right. So like, what's happening? She was like, just like grab my head and like shut. And I was like, all right. And so that, that happened. And then uh, like, okay. things kind of progressed. Like she ended up wanting to get like tied down during sex. And then one day she was like, you know what? got a really good idea and uh, I was like okay she was like how about you pretend to rape me and I was like uh what she was like like it'll be great like you'll you'll come in to like you'll burst into the apartment and like I'll fight back like I'll like I don't want to do it but like you'll over I was like you want you want me to have sex with someone who clearly doesn't want me to she was like but I do and I was like but you are fighting back <laughs> Which implies you have to fight. Yeah, hurts like to I, fight back. I don't really want to overpower someone 